climb up the backside of Lemon is like an insane. It, it, t- it brought me to walking shamelessly. I just didn't even care. actually wasn't, I don't know, it's long. It's a lot of climbing. I think we were like almost 11,000 feet climbing. So we're 30 miles in, right? 30 miles. We're on Reddington Road in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. Whoa. Did you make those last night? I did not see you make those. I think you're hiding them from me. I think it was like too crazy. Like you have a climb right near the start that brings you up and over Reddington, kick it off and you're fresh, so it was fine. But then kind of like a long stretch of just rolling, sandy, rocky, you got everything, but it's pretty like headwind. Um, pretty washed out. Then you get like ruts and like there's no rhythm. It's literally like a climb and you like dropped in this canyon in and then back up again and when you hit the climb you knew it was just nine miles of that. I thought that was harder than the actual climb to be honest but I don't know. It's crazy though because you have no idea how much further. Like I had my map up on my my Rome which I could see the switchbacks but the scale like it's tough to tell because you come around one and then there's like four more so all of a sudden you're coming over such a steep hill that you don't see that it's turning into pavement. It's dirt, 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 and then you're like, oh my God, pavement. And then yeah, you're at the main Mount Lemon Road, so. I think it's a pretty big, just fully honest testament that I just rode my bike for nine hours and it was, I could have kept going. Like it's the most comfortable bike there is. It's so good and it's so good on all terrain. So whether it's pavement or super rocky, ruddy dirt, um, you're comfortable, which is so huge. If you wanna just be outside on your bike all day long, there's really no other bike to be on. <laughs>